Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Giteshwar Devan and I'm a third year MD psychiatry resident in Chandigarh. Third year of residency was pretty tough. I had absolutely no time to record any video, but now here we are just at the right time to talk about the neat PG examination which is just about the corner. So the agenda of the day is talking about the do's and don'ts for the last minute revision of neat PG. So this is perhaps the most important time in your preparation period for the entrance examination. Why do I say so? Whatever you have done in the last multiple number of years since you have been preparing for this exam, which actually starts from the first day you enter into the medical college, everything depends on how you manage this last month. So let us get straight to the point. Number one, do. Only and only start revising whatever you have read earlier on. Do not read anything new. Do not follow any new material. Do not watch any new video. Do not read any new sentence. One of the ways, which is perhaps the most important way to remember stuff at this point of time, is something which you've already registered in your brain in the form of a photographic memory. A lot of that memory comes from the page which you have read of that very topic. So in case you've already started revising, you must revise from the same source rather than revising from a different source. Because if you revise from a different source, you will need to make that photograph imprinted in your brain and that will take a long time because you already had another pic and that needs to be deleted, perhaps forgotten. So it is better that you revise from the same sources. It will make revision fast. It will make revision easier and it will help you remember it in a better way. It gets encoded right into your long-term memory multiple number of times when you revise it. This is known as rehearsal, which helps in encoding short-term memories into long-term memories. So this is very important. So from the first do, let us go into the first don't. Don't think too much about the ultimate outcome. You've prepared well, you've given your best. Jo hoga, dekha jayega. Whatever happens, happens. You have put in your maximum effort. Don't obsess or be anxious about the outcome of this journey. Focus on doing the small things correct. Focusing too much on the final outcome, whether or not I will get the desired rank, whether or not I will get the seat of my choice, will only and only waste your time. It will make you more anxious and you will only procrastinate. So better than doing that, you take a break. But don't procrastinate. Don't overthink for the final outcome. Just give in your best even in the last few weeks. Another do is that this is the time when you pick up your 20th notebook or your previous year topics. So if you're finding it very hard to revise everything together, it is better that you only pick up the previous year topics, which is in fact something already given in sources like uh, marrow prep ladder where you have previous year questions available and even in sources like BTR where you have the most important previous year topics ready. There are multiple sources available across all the platforms. I'm not going to talk about a specific platform but only the comprehensive outlook of every platform. So previous year questions are going to be the core of your revision even at this point of time. As I've already mentioned, don't read anything new. Another don't. Don't give too many grand tests. There are a lot of people who have always recommended giving mock tests at the end and stop reading the material, which is a very big no. If you give a lot of mock tests, you only rely on those MCQs and you hope that those MCQs which have been asked in those mock tests, they will somehow come up in your examination and you will be able to answer them. Not revising what you have read the entire part of your uh, not revising what you've already read in the entire duration of your revision journey and just relying on giving grand tests at the last moment is a very big no. It will deplete whatever you've learned and it will only and it will only aid in micro focusing on those MCQs which are coming in that very grand test. I would recommend that if you want to give a grand test or any form of a mock test in the last one month or so, it is advisable that you only give maybe once a week. That is it. Do not increase the frequency. Ideally, I recommend not to give grand tests in the last couple of weeks. A very big no. Sometimes instead of boosting your confidence, it actually hits your confidence so bad if you don't get the desired result. 
that you start undermining yourself. So you've already given enough mock tests by this stage and there's no benefit at all in case you've not given a lot of mock tests earlier that now I'll give multiple mock tests and I'll be able to compensate for that. Genuinely, there's not much of a benefit. Especially in the last two weeks, I really recommend only rely on your revision notes, your 20th notebook and your uh, previous year questions. That becomes the do. Very important do for the final day before you give in the exam. A lot of people recommend that you don't need to do anything. You just need to relax on your final day. So in case you're confident enough and you feel that I get too anxious studying on the last day, that might be the right strategy. Then you can use what I'm saying on the penultimate day. But ideally in the last 48 hours, what you can do is that you can make a list of the most important image-based questions. For example, image-based questions coming from anatomy, image-based questions coming from surgery, orthopedics as well as very important scores and scales and staging methods across various subjects and very important tables from microbiology, from subjects like pathology, from subjects like pharmacology, basic receptor functions. So all those tables, all those images and all those scales and scores, especially the ones in surgery, in trauma, you pick up all of that stuff, you compile all of that stuff while you're preparing right now in the last couple of weeks and on the penultimate day or the last day in the last 48 hours, that is the time actually when you go through those scales and scores because you tend to forget those more often than not. So try to focus on revising those in the last few hours. And a very important advice is that in the last few weeks as well, just try to give yourself a break in the morning and a break in the evening Try to go out, have a walk and manage your anxiety. This exam is one of the many exams that you'll give in life. We often tend to correlate the importance of this exam as the most important or the final frontier in our life. As medicos, learning is a part of the journey. It does not even stop when you enter the residency. So life is a big Pandora's box. Focus on the process rather than the outcome. If you're putting in the right effort of the process, the outcome will be in the direction in which you want it to be. The exam is not a final frontier. This is one of the many exams. The dance continues. Life progresses. What is important is that you keep on learning and you keep on pushing yourself to become a better person, to become a better student. All the best. You'll have an amazing exam. In case you guys feel this video was important and helpful, I can follow this up with further videos. All the best.